now we will see the difference of the quality checks of the Agilent one color and two color data. As we have seen earlier that for the Agilent data we have to do the normalization first and then we will check the quality of the data. And previously we have seen that the raw data is converted into a normalized data and that is uh, saved as a object data too. So same data to object we will use for the uh, checking of the quality of the data. And we have seen that we can check the quality by drawing the or plotting the MA plots and we can plot one uh, MA plot for one array but it is easier to plot six arrays at a time by using the lima uh, package and by using the command plot ma 3 by 2 3 by 2 means 3 into 2 6 so we can plot uh, 6 images of the 6 arrays at the same time and this uh, lima package by using this command will draw the image of the 6 arrays and we can then analyze these arrays by using the uh, command plot ma 3 by 2 dat2 and then we can convert this uh, plots into the pdf file also because uh, we can use it outside the r program so after using that command we will get the six plots and the plots in the first file show some saturation in the higher end of the scale you can see saturation so saturation can be spotted by looking for lines in the lower or higher end of the expression value scale in the first plot on top left saturated spots form a very distinct line extending from top left to lower right so there are often some saturated spot but their frequency should not be too high if there are very many saturated spots then the scanner settings used while scanning the slides could have been wrong. Other quality control images that include the smooth histogram for both channels and all arrays of the normalized data and that can be obtained by uh, using the command plot densities and then in brackets that to data that we have already normalized. So by using this command we can uh, use uh, other uh, forms of quality checks apart from MA plots. So here we will get this type of graph and this is smooth histogram graph and for all arrays and for both channels and it looks all 12 or 14 graphs looks very similar in the pattern. So there are no symmetric biases in the data anymore and normalization has done a good job in removing them. So this is the quality of the uh, normalization. In order to check the quality of one color Azure data, we have to use some different tools as compared to the two color Azure data. But in one color Azure data, we cannot visualize the data as in case of two color Azure data. So for one color data, we have to use the other types of tools in com as compared to the two color data so for in this case we will use the box plot instead of ma plots so in this case we have to normalize the data that is stored as a dat2 and we will use the command dat.m and this object needs to be converted into a data frame and for this purpose we will use the command box plot and in the arguments we will use data.frame and then dat.m so for one color data instead of ma plot we will get the box plot of all the 14 chip arrays data so this is a standard box plot where we every single array is represented by one box so this is one box the median are all on the same level we can say median this is same level 
medians are marked with the horizontal bars this is horizontal bars within the boxes all arrays seem to have exactly the same distribution of expression values and this is the result of quantile normalization and specifically makes the distribution exactly the same so after normalization we have checked that the quality of the data after normalization is perfect